a few abused. I didn't do anything wrong. I abandoned on a daily basis. Try to help my wife. Abuse gets from me. Deep old scale. It's wood. Equilibrium scale, what do you call it, where the different types of scales of schizophrenic and type personality disorders. It's a way of measuring because no one has a personality disorder that's fixed. Personality disorders are inherently part of society and whether we identify with them or not is another question. When certain things get out of hand, I know I had a friend named Ethan Allen Davis and he used to have these freakouts and come play music and cause a lot of freakouts and paranoia and fights at bars that I never saw happen. And he used to be normal and grounded and tell me about Buddhism and one day he was dating a black woman and had a kid and lost his mind and wanted to be in a band still and it was really strange and fucked in the head. I don't know what happened to him. I had Carl, this best friend. Wiley Dixon, my bandmate, who I met through Ethan in Oregon, said, hey, could you call Ethan? He's not doing well. Check him with his family in there, and he's gone schizophrenic. And I had forgotten about the concept of schizophrenia other than that. And until Michael Gabriel, the person who married my wife and I, living in his basement while we were surviving Scientology's initial attack, realized that he was going through manias that was paranoid and delusion and and attacking us and creating problems and manias around his cats and his break when he was a kid with his father. We didn't really identify as either genius or black or, or Air Force fucking secret regiment or Nikola Tesla and, and freak out over the sorting of the cat food and the cat poop because the trash had both in the same can for the first time in his life because of people using the trash can the way he didn't use it and he was just newly coming to toxoplasmosis as an idea and flipped the fuck out when we mixed up the trash or sprayed a fucking aerosol can on the floor to I forget what the can did but it was a paint and it was strong enough to be smelled but strong enough for him to break our door down and force us to freeze in the middle of the night and fucking demand to act in weird, fucked up ways and think that we were weird for saying, hey man, could you not do that? It's making us not be able to look into human beings and sleep. So my wife identified with me that he was probably schizophrenic. And then, lo and behold, after narcolepsy was the only thing that I have said my wife was going through and then olfactory delusions that she was the one who determined they were delusions, not me. I just said she wasn't stinking and she didn't smell and that I imagine that her body told her that she still did because the brain doesn't really lie to you and make up shit so you still believe what's happening to you because it's happening to you and it's real but everyone else isn't attuned to your pheromone your body is an intrinsic estrogen and uh, the other one And, and so you react differently and that you internalize and smell and think and feel like we do you know? so when the world doesn't experience or feel or smell you the way you think you do then it's news to you because you, you just don't understand the world not seeing the way you see it because well the world just doesn't see you or me or anybody the world doesn't acknowledge people People acknowledge people when they want to. And they all have different personality disorders and types and mindsets and focuses. And mostly none of them are on anyone but themselves. So everyone is inherently ignoring each other. Until they either are trying to work together in some sort of form of community. But in the lower poverty line gangster fucking hotel scene where you're supposed to be in an your own damn goddamn room and mind your own goddamn business, why would anybody notice each other except for to say, hey, I want to rob or I want to fuck or I want to bother
bother that person or I'm going to ignore that person because I'm in my own world. So when my wife began to experience schizotypal personality disorder way later down the road after many a fucking completely ununderstandable experiences where she was gone for two, three days, it turns out she locked herself in the bathroom. Actually, bakery, locked bakery. She was in the bathroom, that's what I want to say. And she went to the ER at White Adventist and UCLA, USC, and then Cedar Sinai, and then UCLA again. All in the same day. Or things like that. You know? And the doctors would say, no, she was in Sodom. And they'd tell them that she was disappearing for days, and they said, she might have a psychiatry problem. And I didn't say my wife was fucking crazy. I said my wife was going through fucking issues that were akin to her narcolepsy being mixed with her medicines, mixed with her IUD puncture, mixed with her trauma, mixed with narcolepsy eats 800,000 brain cells a year of the orexin and cretin that it's supposed to use to pro in the blood and the protein to process the brain normally. So in that must be an excessive amount of cells that causes other aspects of diluting that were temporal and related to pressure in the brain, which it turns out to be other side effect of uh, Molina's removal is, is pseudocerebri tumor, brain tumor that's temporary and is pseudo fake, but it was created by pressure in the brain from released new hormones that are synthetic and stored in the spinal cord. So, okay, that's probably what happened for a while. But this is all similar to when she smoked a lot of amphetamine to compensate with narcolepsy as when we had dexedrine. She would get caught in mouth and think it was spiders in her mouth. And then all of a sudden, it's this new thing. Meanwhile, we're making a lot of fantasy together and having a lot of great sexual experiences together. And the fantasy is a lot of us telling stories about what we're doing, but they're not things we're actually doing. Sometimes they're not even true. Sometimes they're just someone compensating for their lack of loving. Those experiences and feeling not confident because the fantasy that they're building together is a confidence that makes both of them feel good. Unfortunately, that confusion at the same type as my wife's, I guess that's me, and my wife's transitioning through these different stages of psychosis and or brain chemistry, ones I wouldn't call psychosis, brain chemistry, asking for confident reassurance that this is what's happening, but she doesn't stink, she doesn't smell, she's not doing any of these things. She thinks she's exuding, and she's doing these other things because she thinks she's exuding these things, and it's not relating. There's no reason to hide in different bathrooms across the city in different porta potties to go to every fucking ER and to not believe every single doctor and to be constipated on a psychological condition of being afraid to use the bathroom because you think you stink, which self-induces a psychosis and continuous loop in which you're now constipated and now need diuretics in which you abuse and take all these alternative remedies that you've taken in your own hands through extreme measures such as douching with vinegar, causing extreme internal body offset and not being balanced pH-wise and otherwise, and getting yourself candida from fingering yourself while being off on your pH, and then having dirty hands because of no soap from the fucking Mariachi Plaza Hotel, and then going on a continuous loop back to the doctor, getting clindamycin because you had a foot fungus, and suflexing because of a spider bite, and continuously causing antibody reaction after antibody reaction with excessive overstimulated mind to what your sex life was inferior of or inferior of I guess that's the wrong terminology but it wasn't because it was just fantasy and then or wondering if you were good enough because you just had a miscarriage a 
abortion that had gone wrong with an uh, IUD that was forced upon you and then ripped out of you and leaving a fucking caring feeling in your uterus, which made you think you had a prolapsed vaginal wall to your anus, which made you think you were leaking poop because you had your first hemorrhoid because of all the fucking stress from fucking not being able to take a shit because everybody's fucking making these gross acting sounds because they're young, shitty, juvenile, dickhead boys that live in a fucking shared bathroom fucking hotel ex gangster or gangster boys and they're around these girls that need their own private bathrooms because all women or people should <laughs> causing my wife to go fucking crazy the insecurity of being forced into different hierarchical levels of different women's class gender society and the, the gangster life being turned on and off by it simultaneously fantasies we then made up around it causing more stress